we do have this extraordinary power. 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 An essential capacity for creativity. We do have this extraordinary power. 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 An essential capacity for creativity. Extraordinary power. We do have this extraordinary power. We do have this extraordinary power. We do have this extraordinary power. An essential capacity for creativity. That's to say, they depend upon feelings and relationships and motivation and value, self-value and a sense of identity and of community. You know the way you work in an organisation is deeply affected by your feeling for it. Therefore, I think a much better metaphor is not industrialism, but agriculture or an organic metaphor. I'm doing a whole project at the moment in the state of um, Oklahoma where I'm trying to develop these ideas across the whole state. But I mentioned Las Vegas at the beginning, I'll just show a last image of this now. Um, not far from Las Vegas is a place called Death Valley. Death Valley is the hottest place in America. Not much grows in Death Valley because it doesn't rain. Um, in, this, in the winter of 2004, something remarkable happened. It rained seven inches. And in the spring of 2005, there was a phenomenon. The whole floor of Death Valley was coated with spring flowers. Photographers and botanists and scientists came from the whole across of America to witness this thing they might not see again. What it demonstrated was that Death Valley wasn't dead. It was asleep. Right beneath the surface were these seeds of growth, waiting for conditions. And I believe it's exactly the same way with human beings. If we create the right conditions in our school, if we create the right incentives, if we value each learner for themselves and properly, growth will happen. And the growth always happens.
extraordinary power, an essential capacity for creativity. Extraordinary power, an essential capacity for creativity. Mm -hmm.